Hello and welcome to another uncut video. Today we're going to be doing a Foul Ball River Run. Uh, we probably won't do a full half hour like most of the uncut videos. We'll just go until uh, I talk about everything that I wanted to go through. Uh, and then we'll probably end it and I'll explain why in just a moment. But we've got a red deer female here. That I did not make a great shot on. I'm get my breath back. Alright, she's down. I think we missed that third shot, but not entirely sure. A little bit of a rough start, but the reason I wanted to take her out from further away was to minimize uh, spooking other animals if I would have gotten closer to her. Uh, because in single player, it's only out to render distance that animals will spook. But anyway, uh, to get into the stuff that I wanted to talk about, uh, I always talk about like whatever I can't normally talk about in these videos. Uh, so the first thing is that the, uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild uh, is coming out in, I think, roughly two weeks, a little over two weeks. I believe it's February 17th? It's the 16th or 17th, I think. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to get it. Uh, I definitely want to see uh, the game in its fully released form. Is that a red fox? That's a red deer, but I saw... Yeah. I have the 223, but we know where a couple of animals are, so we're not going to take shots and spook other stuff just yet. But anyway, I definitely want to see the game in the fully released form and everything, uh, since we just got to see the beta and the one um, reserve. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do regarding making videos on it. Uh, I definitely will make some. I just don't know, like, if I should make, like, one The Hunter Classic and one The Hunter Call of the Wild video per week. Or try to do a third video uh, to The Hunter Classics as normal and then throw a The Hunter Call of the Wild video in there somewhere. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it. Let me know what you guys think. My one idea was uh, to do, like... Uh, the normal to the Hunter Classic videos, and then uh, for the Hunter Call of the Wild video, it would just be like an uncut, uh, maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, so that way, it doesn't take me a long time to have to record and edit it, because uh, two a week, uh, that's about as much as I can currently do. Uh, unless I would do something like that where it's an uncut video, uh, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time to record or edit it. So that's one potential option uh, that's out there. Or I could just, any time that I record like an uncut video for this, uh, the Hunter Classic, uh, I could then record like a normal video for uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, and that would just be like sporadic. It wouldn't be every week. Uh, there would be like no actual schedule for it. So yeah, whatever you guys think, let me know uh, in the comment section, and I will try to make the best decision for what I can do and for what you guys want uh, and we'll see what we can work out regarding that but on a similar note because of that uh, because of the Hunter Call of the Wild coming out I need to upgrade my graphics card I had very uh, very significant struggles trying to run even on decent uh, settings not even close to the max and I was getting like 25, 30 FPS, uh, not really great, and I definitely like the game. They put so much effort into, um, you know, making it so much more realistic regarding the uh, trees and everything. So I want to experience it uh, as it's supposed to be experienced. So I definitely want to upgrade my graphics card. I'm planning on getting a GTX 1060. Oh, we just spooked that fox. We better shoot the red deer. He spooked as we shot. We did get a hit. He, like, ducked into a little dip in the ground there. We missed our second shot. I wonder where that fox was. Messing with my plans. But yeah, I'm planning on getting a GTX 1060. Um, the one that I was looking at is a bit smaller. Uh, so it would fit better in my 
Alienware X51 R3 uh, case because it's a relatively sleek, small design. Uh, so that's my plan. I'm not 100% set on doing that. I was looking at uh, a 1070 as well, or maybe like a 980 Ti. I don't know. If you guys have experience with like one or multiple of those, you guys can let me know what you think of them. And I might uh, change my mind, but right now I'm looking at uh, the 1060, as I said. I think that's probably the best option for me, uh, but we'll see regarding that. As well, I think I'll probably. I don't know, I might post on a forum somewhere, but from what I could tell, everything would uh, fit properly uh, and that kind of thing with the one I was looking at. So, hopefully, that's the case. Uh, so, I don't have to um, return it and go for a different one. This red deer should go down. It was an intestine shot with the 4570. They usually don't run very far uh, with that. Anyway. Another thing I wanted to mention, myself and DD33 uh, thought up something that we really think you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, so I think the first uh, video of it, it's intended to be a series if you guys uh, seem to enjoy it enough. Uh, we'll have to see what you guys' response to it is. But if all goes well, that will be on Saturday on this channel. I'm not entirely sure when uh, DD33 will get around to uploading it. Um, but... I intend on uploading uh, what I will be reporting for it on Saturday. So that's two days from now, uh, if we can get that done. But yeah, I don't want to spoil what it is, uh, but I think it's going to be really interesting. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, so if you were not already planning on it, I would... Uh, recommend coming back Saturday and checking that out. I think it is going to be pretty cool. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Don't want to uh, give anything away. But yeah, I think it is going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, next thing I wanted to mention was the subscriber hunt. I know it's been a bit since I've done one. The winner of the last one, Macho Buffalo, didn't get back to me right away. And then it, I think it was 10 or 11 days uh, after... Uh, choosing him as the winner, he got back to me, uh, and I responded saying like that we could still do it, it was no problem, uh, and then I haven't got a response back. Uh, that was close to a week ago, I think. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I'm going to wait about a week if I don't get a response. I'm going to choose a new one, and then uh, if Macho Buffalo gets back to me, we can still do that one as well. I don't want to just throw him under the bus. Uh, but I know you guys uh, have been asking a lot about that lately. Hello there. We've got a road your buck potentially coming in. But I think we're going to take this bear because the buck's going to go uh, in the direction that we're headed. Potentially we can uh, catch up with the road your buck anyway. So we have now hopefully two red deer. I'm actually surprised uh, that the male that we shot's not down yet, but hopefully we can find him quite quickly. Run over and get back on the tracks. But yeah, uh, about a week. If I don't get a response, I will choose a new winner for the subscriber hunt, uh, and we'll go from there. I did want to do one like once a month or one every two months uh, whatever I can work out the thing is my recording schedule is very limited uh, and it's not generally going to coincide with most people's schedules uh, so that's the hardest part about it actually finding a time to record um, uh, just because of my odd schedule but hopefully uh, that can be worked out uh, in all cases. Looks like this red deer is going to be down shortly here. we got a lot of intestine blood. That's the same road here. Old track, though. I'm not seeing our red deer down anywhere, which is 
kind of concerning. This is fleeing. Uh, so we bumped him again when we shot the brown bear. I figured he would have been down by now. Not doing so great with the red deer this hunt. Hopefully he's just up here. Ooh, I'm stuck. That's one of the things about this map. There's a lot of deep water that you can get stuck in. And before they changed it, I think they changed it anyway. I think there's been some kind of patch for over a year ago, but um, you could like fall into the water and then you couldn't get back out. It seems like you can get get back out a lot easier and in almost every case now. Uh, but that was pretty common to fall in those like really deep areas of water and just not be able to move. And our red deer is down right here, so not great, but he is down. That'll be our third kill. Doing pretty solid. I actually was not paying attention to the time because I'm not specifically trying to go uh, for 30 minutes. I think it's been about 10 because my phone just went dark. That's where I have my uh, the stuff that I want to talk about written down. And I have it to uh, lock after 10 minutes. So it's been close to 10. A bit less, apparently. But anyway, moving on, I never actually, like, got around to making another uh, uncut video for, like, this type of thing. I did the Q&A one, uh, but I never, like, ooh, what did that say? 200 to 240. He's definitely spooked. But that could potentially be a good stag. We're going to slow things down a little bit here, even though I know there's that female out there. That's a bear, actually. <laughs> thought that was the female stag that I heard. But anyway, uh, what I was going to say was that I never actually made like a final uh, uncut video after uh, real life hunting season ended, and I was kind of like keeping you guys updated. Uh, on that, uh, but it finally did end, would have been two or three weeks ago, I think two, no I guess it's three, it's the uh, 31st today and you guys are watching this on I think February 2nd, um, I was not fortunate enough to tag out, I had the one doe tag left that I did not fill, but I'm not going to complain, I had a very good season uh, killing my first archery buck. Uh, him being a pretty good one and yeah I just I saw like 15 deer on the last day uh, walking to my spot uh, I think someone had put on a drive which uh, it's private property that my dad owns uh, but it's like obviously uh, it's adjacent to someone else's in the area that I was hunting um, is closer to the border of the property so I'm guessing uh, there was other people doing a deer drive uh, for like a last ditch effort uh, on the last day and that's why there were kind of deer everywhere but yeah I didn't have any shot opportunities or running deer at 100 yards with a flintlock so that was how my season ended but if you guys have any success stories put them down in the comments I love reading that kind of stuff uh, seeing other people's success is always really cool I was trying to think of a way of like posting images because clicking on links uh, in comment sections can always be dangerous because you never know what they actually are going to lead to. Uh, someone could make a very innocent looking post, uh, which actually leads to like a virus or something. Uh, so, the only way I know for sure, you could go to the Great Outdoors uh, topic. Okay, that was a female. Uh, you could go to the Great Outdoors topic on the Hunter forums and post pictures there. Um, that's where mine are, uh, which I've linked to that a couple of different times. If I remember, I'll do it again for this one, uh, since I mentioned it. But yeah, if you guys have pictures, I would recommend posting them there. I think we're going to end up shooting this bear because it's getting awfully close. I'm not seeing that red deer stag. Actually... 
that's probably the stag. So what we can do is just, if I can move, I can take the stag out from here and then potentially kill the bear running. Two in him. There's the bear. Ooh, that was a bad shot. Oh, that ammo. Could use the 223, but that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Get three in there. The bear's actually down. Is there anything else running around? Not that I can see. I guess our road here kind of disappeared forever. Okay. That moved, I thought, it's just him. He probably just went down or just rolled over or something there. So I think that's five kills. Not too bad. It's been close to 15 minutes, so pretty solid. Uh, the last thing that I had on my mind... Uh, when I wrote everything down was that uh, the multiplayer games last week I had some issues actually kicking them up the one on Wednesday it was only up for an hour I think or an hour and a half because my internet went out and I could not get it uh, to reconnect so I posted on Twitter uh, that that had happened but if you guys don't follow me on Twitter obviously you wouldn't know that uh, but yeah sorry about that being up for such a short amount of time, but at least we did have uh, some time for that to be up. Decent brown bear, I guess. For a female. Uh, and yeah, the one on Saturday... I don't actually remember... I was having some issues connecting to the server, and then... I actually... It started late, for some reason. What was I doing? Oh, I had work on Saturday, and then I had to do something else. Normally, I work Sundays, uh, but that got switched uh, to go to a gun raffle, uh, which was a great time, so I'm glad I do that, uh, got to do that. But, yeah, I'm not sure actually what I was doing. I wasn't editing. I, I really don't know. But, yeah, that one was only up for like two hours because there were some server issues. Oh, and then my internet was, like, really insanely bad. It was working, but it was super slow. Sorry about just standing here, but I think this is going to be our last harvest. I was just uh, finishing what I was saying. Yeah, my download speed was, like, 0 .06 or something, like, insanely low. Like, basically unusably low. Uh, but that all got corrected. Um, so, yeah, if you guys don't know, I do tend to host multiplayer games on Wednesday nights and Saturday nights. Uh, every week, which I'm going to try to continue doing, uh, hopefully for more than an hour, like the last two were. Usually Wednesdays are a bit later and Saturdays are a bit earlier uh, in the afternoon for Eastern Standard Time. I would say that is the Red Deer we had a track from, 232 kilogram uh, weight, 212 scores, so pretty good one. I guess I could have just been uh, working on the trophy shot the whole time instead of just standing there looking at him. But live and learn so yeah sorry to shortchange you on a short video I guess I never did explain that like I said I was gonna um, I was planning on recording a different uncut video earlier today um, but my siblings had a snow day because it was very bad weather and unfortunately trying to record when their home is about useless so I had to wait till tonight uh, and I didn't have a ton of time so, I think we still did pretty good for the amount of time we had, and a uh, pretty decent red deer uh, that ended out 212 is not bad, and uh, yeah, I think that's the one we had. I should have looked at the track. I don't know why I didn't, but I think it was probably him. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good looking trophy shot, and I think I got through everything I wanted to say. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.